So we've talked about time-like and space-like intervals. In this video, I'll say a little bit about like-like intervals and give a picture that summarizes the state of affairs. So let me start with that picture. So let's say we have a space-time diagram. So this is x, and there's time. And then a light flash that originated at the origin would head out like this. This is a light flash. And along this line, delta t equals delta x. The reason is that the speed of light is the speed of light. One x unit corresponds to one time unit, and so that would mean it delta x is going to equal delta t along this line. Over in this region, so if I had a point here compared to the origin, that uh, corresponds to the case. I've got delta s squared is negative. That means that delta x is greater than delta t, and would say that this is space-like. So, one event at the origin, another event anywhere over here, anywhere in this triangle, will be space-like. Why? Because there is uh, some other reference frame where these two events are simultaneous, and so the only difference between them is spatial and could be measured with a ruler. Over here, this is delta S squared is positive. This means that delta t is greater than delta x, and this is time-like. So if I have any event in the triangle here, these two events, this interval would be time-like. Why? Because there's some other reference frame in which um, these two events are separated only by t. They happen at the same place. The only thing that varies is time. All right, so this is summarizing what we've seen so far. The delta s squared equals zero, that would be any point along here. So the space-time interval between these two points would be light-like. Why? Well, um, if we're light-like, delta s squared is zero, that means that, um, maybe I'll I'll do this over here in orange. Delta t equals delta x. So note that we can have a zero space-time interval, but that doesn't mean that the two events are the same, right on top of each other. Um, and so why is this light-like? The reason is, is that these two events could be connected via a light flash. So light-like is this sort of separating region. Over here we have time-like, and over here we have space-like. So this is a summary of the three different types of space-time intervals. And in the next couple of videos, we'll look and think about um, what this tells us about the causal structure of space-time itself.